chapter 35. Moreover, Yahweh's word came to me, saying, Son of man, set your face against Mount Seir, and prophesy against it, and tell it, The Lord Yahweh says, Behold, I am against you, Mount Seir, and I will stretch out my hand against you. I will make you a desolation and an astonishment. I will lay your cities waste, and you will be desolate. Then you will know that I am Yahweh. Because you have had a perpetual hostility, and have given over the children of Israel to the power of the sword in the time of their calamity, in the time of the iniquity of the end, Therefore, as I live, says the Lord Yahweh, I will prepare you for blood, and blood will pursue you. Since you have not hated blood, therefore blood will pursue you. Thus I will make Mount Seir an astonishment and a desolation. I will cut off from it him who passes through and him who returns. I will fill its mountains with its slain. The slain with the sword will fall in your hills and in your valleys and in all your watercourses. I will make you a perpetual desolation, and your cities will not be inhabited. Then you will know that I am Yahweh. Because you have said, These two nations and these two countries will be mine, and we will possess it, although Yahweh was there. Therefore, as I live, says the Lord Yahweh, I will do according to your anger, and according to your envy which you have shown out of your hatred against them, and I will make myself known among them when I judge you. You will know that I, Yahweh, have heard all your insults which you have spoken against the mountains of Israel, saying, They have been laid desolate, they have been given to us to devour. You have magnified yourselves against me with your mouth, and have multiplied your words against me. I have heard it. The Lord Yahweh says, When the whole earth rejoices, I will make you desolate. As you rejoiced over the inheritance of the house of Israel, because it was desolate, so I will do to you. You will be desolate, Mount Seir, and all Edom, even all of it. Then they will know that I am Yahweh. Chapter 36 You, son of man, prophesy to the mountains of Israel, and say, You mountains of Israel, hear Yahweh's word. The Lord Yahweh says, Because the enemy has said against you, Aha! And the ancient high places are ours in possession. Therefore prophesy and say, The Lord Yahweh says, Because, even because they have made you desolate, and swallowed you up on every side, that you might be a possession to the residue of the nations, and you are taken up in the lips of talkers, and the evil report of the people. Therefore, you mountains of Israel, hear the word of the Lord Yahweh. The Lord Yahweh says to the mountains and to the hills, to the watercourses and to the valleys, to the desolate wastes and to the cities that are forsaken, which have become a prey and derision to the residue of the nations that are all around. Therefore the Lord Yahweh says, Surely in the fire of my jealousy I have spoken against the residue of the nations, and against all Edom. I have appointed my land to themselves for a possession with the joy of all their heart, with the spite of soul, to cast it out for a prey. Therefore prophesy concerning the land of Israel, and tell the mountains, the hills, the watercourses, and the valleys. The Lord Yahweh says, Behold, I have spoken in my jealousy and in my wrath, because you have borne the shame of the nations. Therefore the Lord Yahweh says, I have sworn, surely the nations that are around you will bear their shame. But you, mountains of Israel, you shall shoot out your branches and yield your fruit to my people Israel, for they are a hand to come. For, behold, I am for you, and I will come to you, and you will be tilled and sown. I will multiply men on you, all the house of Israel, even all of it. The cities will be inhabited, and the waste places will be built. I will multiply man and animal on you. They will increase and be fruitful. I will cause you to be inhabited as you were before, and you will do better than at your beginnings. Then you will know that I am Yahweh. Yes, I will cause men to walk on you, even my people Israel. They will possess you, and you will be their inheritance, and you will never again bury them of their children. The Lord Yahweh says, Because they say to you, You are a devourer of men, and have been a bearer of your nation, therefore you shall devour men no more, and not bury your nation any more, says the Lord Yahweh. I won't let you hear the shame of the nations any more. You won't bear the reproach of the peoples any more, and you won't cause your nation to stumble any more, says the Lord Yahweh. Moreover, Yahweh's word came to me, saying, Son of man, when the house of Israel lived in their own land, they defiled it by their ways and by their deeds. Their way before me was as the uncleanness of a woman in her impurity. Therefore I poured out my wrath on them for the blood which they had poured out on the land, and because they had defiled it with their idols. I scattered them among the nations, and they were dispersed through the countries. I judged them according to their way and according to their deeds. When they came to the nations where they went, they profaned my holy name, and that men said of them, These are Yahweh's people, and have left his land. But I had respect for my holy name, which the house of Israel had profaned among the nations where they went. Therefore tell the house of Israel, the Lord Yahweh says, I don't do this for your sake, house of Israel, but for my holy name, which you have profaned among the nations where you went. I will sanctify my great name, which has been profaned among the nations, which you have profaned among them. Then the nations will know that I am Yahweh, says the Lord Yahweh, when I am proven holy in you before their eyes. For I will take you from among the nations and gather you out of all the countries, and will bring you into your own land. I will sprinkle clean water on you, and you will be clean. I will cleanse you from all your filthiness and from all your idols. I will also give you a new heart, and I will put a new spirit within you. 
I will take away the stony heart out of your flesh, and I will give you a heart of flesh. I will put my spirit within you and cause you to walk in my statutes. You will keep my ordinances and do them. You will dwell in the land that I gave to your fathers. You will be my people, and I will be your God. I will save you from all your uncleanness. I will call for the grain and will multiply it, and lay no famine on you. I will multiply the fruit of the tree and the increase of the field, that you may receive no more the reproach of famine among the nations. Then you will remember your evil ways and your deeds that were not good, and you will loathe yourselves in your own sight for your iniquities and for your abominations. I don't do this for your sake, says the Lord Yahweh. Let it be known to you. Be ashamed and confounded for your ways, house of Israel. The Lord Yahweh says, In the day that I cleanse you from all your iniquities, I will cause the cities to be inhabited, and the waste places will be built. The land that was desolate will be tilled instead of being a desolation in the sight of all who pass by. It will say, This land that was desolate has become like the Garden of Eden. The waste, desolate, and ruined cities are fortified and inhabited. Then the nations that are left around you will know that I, Yahweh, have built the ruined places and planted that which was desolate. I, Yahweh, have spoken it, and I will do it. The Lord Yahweh says, For this, moreover, I will be inquired of by the house of Israel to do it for them. I will increase them with men like a flock, as the flock for sacrifice, as the flock of Jerusalem in our appointed feasts, so the waste cities will be filled with flocks of men. Then they will know that I am Yahweh. Chapter 37 Yahweh's hand was on me, and he brought me out in Yahweh's spirit, and set me down in the middle of the valley, and it was full of bones. He caused me to pass by them all around, and behold, there were very many in the open valley, and behold, they were very dry. He said to me, Son of man, can these bones live? I answered, Lord Yahweh, you know. Again he said to me, Prophecy over these bones, and tell them, You dry bones, hear Yahweh's word. The Lord Yahweh says to these bones, Behold, I will cause breath to enter into you, and you will live. I will lay sinews on you, and will bring up flesh on you, and cover you with skin, and put breath in you, and you will live. Then you will know that I am Yahweh. So I prophesied as I was commanded. As I prophesied, there was a noise, and behold, there was an earthquake. And the bones came together, bone to its bone. I saw, and, behold, there were sinews on them, and flesh came up, and skin covered them above. But there was no breath in them. Then he said to me, Prophecy to the wind, prophecy, son of man, and tell the wind, the Lord Yahweh says, Come from the four winds, breath, and breathe on these slain, that they may live. So I prophesied as he commanded me, and the breath came into them, and they lived, and stood up on their feet, an exceedingly great army. Then he said to me, Son of man, these bones are the whole house of Israel. Behold, they say, our bones are dried up, and our hope is lost. We are completely cut off. Hear for prophecy, and tell them, the Lord Yahweh says, Behold, I will open your graves, and cause you to come up out of your graves, my people, and I will bring you into the land of Israel. You will know that I am Yahweh, when I have opened your graves, and caused you to come up out of your graves, my people. I will put my spirit in you, and you will live. Then I will place you in your own land, and you will know that I, Yahweh, have spoken it and performed it, says Yahweh. Yahweh's word came again to me, saying, You, son of man, take one stick and write on it for Judah and for the children of Israel his companions. Then take another stick and write on it for Joseph, the stick of Ephraim, and for all the house of Israel his companions. Then join them for yourself to one another into one stick, that they may become one in your hand. When the children of your people speak to you, saying, When you show us what you mean by these, tell them, The Lord Yahweh says, Behold, I will take the stick of Joseph, which is in the hand of Ephraim, and the tribes of Israel his companions, and I will put them with it, with the stick of Judah, and make them one stick, and they will be one in my hand. The sticks on which you write will be in your hand before their eyes. Say to them, The Lord Yahweh says, Behold, I will take the children of Israel from among the nations where they have gone, and will gather them on every side, and bring them into their own land. I will make them one nation in the land on the mountains of Israel. One king will be king to them all. They will no longer be two nations. They won't be divided into two kingdoms any more at all. They won't defile themselves any more with their idols, nor with their detestable things, nor with any of their transgressions. But I will save them out of all their dwelling places in which they have sinned, and will cleanse them. So they will be my people, and I will be their God. My servant David will be king over them. They all will have one shepherd. They will also walk in my ordinances and observe my statutes and do them. They will dwell in the land that I have given to Jacob my servant, in which your fathers lived. They will dwell therein, they and their children, and their children's children, forever. David my servant will be their prince forever. Moreover, I will make a covenant of peace with them. It will be an everlasting covenant with them. I will place them, multiply them, and will set my sanctuary among them forevermore. My tent also will be with them. I will be their God, and they will be my people. The nations will know that I am Yahweh who sanctifies Israel, when my sanctuary is among them forevermore.